Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to create animated armor stands. As you might have seen already, I've created a new plugin with uh, a listener class implemented and an event handler with the player join event E. And then I get the player and the location of the player. So to animate an armor stand, we of course need to create an armor stand first. So let's do armor stand stand equals. Now we're going to get lock.getWorld because uh, armor stand is a entity. An entity, I mean an entity, and so we're gonna spawn it in with location lock and class. It's just gonna be the armor stand dot class, which will return the class of the armor stand. And for the animation process, uh, there's a couple of things that I want to fix. First, I want to set visible to false so that you can't see the armor stand, and then I want to stand dot set gravity false as well. So that it won't fall down and what we're gonna do is we actually gonna make a item in the in the hand of the armor stand rotate and it will look like it's uh, flying in the air and to do that we need to enable arms so set arms to true and of course we need to stand dot set item in hand and this is the item for the left hand if I'm right so we're gonna do new item stack with material dot golden apple golden low score apple so the next thing you want to do now that you've created the armor stand and you set it to invisible uh, no gravity arms and item in hand uh, to golden apple is you want to actually create the animation process and to do that I'm gonna create uh, let me go into here I'm gonna create a new class over here inside our package new class and I'm gonna call it just animate for now give it a more descriptive name and as I already told uh, with the external bucket runnable uh, tutorial uh, you need to extend bucket runnable and it will return an error because we did not have the required elements over here and what we want to do inside of our animate class uh, we want to yeah, we want to animate the armor stand. So the armor stand has a uh, rotation on the left hand, and that's in Euler angles. So a uh, rotation for X, a rotation for Y, a rotation for Z. And if you do not know what Euler angles are, just look it up on the internet, uh, because it's a more math-related um, thing and not really that of bucket. Uh, but inside of Run over here, we do not have a reference to our armor stand. So we first gonna create a uh, armor stand variable armor stand, and we're gonna just call it S. And as you know, we need to give it a constructor, so public animate, and then we are gonna create this. So we're gonna give it type armor stand, uh, stand, and then we're gonna set S equal to stand. So what we want to do inside of the run method is we want to uh, get the Euler angle so we're gonna create a variable Euler angle and it's gonna be old rotation so current rotation old rotation doesn't really matter and we're gonna equal that to s dot get right arm pose and that will give the Euler angles of the right arm pose and then we are gonna create a new variable of new rotation which will equal uh, old rotation Dot add and then uh, I've experimented a bit with these numbers and I found out that a value of 0 0.2 F and 0, 00 will give a very clean uh, rotation uh, once it's finished but if you do not like the smoothness or the not smoothness of the thing you can change that over here and then of course there's one thing to uh, do and that's set uh, right arm pose towards the new rotation so now we get back to the animated stand and over here we want to get an int yes an int and it's gonna be called animate animate and it's gonna equal I will explain later why we get an int bucket dot get scheduler dot schedule async repeating task uh, plugin is this a uh, runnable is 
uh, new animated uh, animate and then we are gonna pass in the stand over here and then over here the delay is gonna be zero ticks and then uh, how much there is between uh, the amount of repetition so how much there is how much ticks there is between every uh, instance of the run method and we're just gonna set that to one it's maybe not the most lag efficient way of doing this but it is an easy and really nice looking way so uh, why do we get the animate int over here just let me uh, suppress warnings deprecation that's because a bucket get scheduler dot schedule async repeating task will go on forever unless you cancel it and how do we cancel it well a really easy but maybe not the best method is a bucket runnable um, and that will be just an anonymous runnable and we're just gonna dot run task later and I'm gonna do this and let's just do a five second delay over here and the int animate over here is actually the um, yeah the the ID of the repeating task. So over here we can just do bucket dot get scheduler scheduler dot cancel and as you can see cancel task requires an int because it wants the ID of the task it should cancel and that's just easy animate and one last thing that you should not forget is to stand dot remove to actually remove the armor stand from uh, the server because if you do not if you forget this little line it will just ro stop rotating and there will be a floating apple I might be able to show it on the server because I tested this out and I forgot this line and now there's some random golden apples in the air and that's it actually for the coding today it is a little challenge because uh, what I want you to do is I want you to uh, make it random on how the uh, the, the, the golden apple rotates and I will show you uh, in a second server that it can only rotate in one way now so you're gonna do something with this um, with the armor stand uh, or with the animation I'm not gonna spoil, spoil it uh, that makes it so that there's multiple uh, ways of turning it's a really interesting uh, challenge if you have any problems with it just go to the discord and I will be able to help you out I will not spoil the answers I will just answer questions so let's go to the server so we're inside Minecraft now start up the server and let's go take a look at our rotating apple and let's be quick step back and as you can see there's our rotating golden apple and it will do it for five seconds let me actually just join the server again so that you can see it again and it's really easy to animate armor stands if you do multiple it will look really nice show me what you created with this do it on the discord uh, send me a gif or an image or a link to your plugin that you made on whatever you uploaded it and that's it for today's episode hope you enjoyed it. if you did leave a like if you want to see more subscribe if you got any feedback or suggestions down below in the comments or go to the description box there will be a link to the discord of uh, ghg channel and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.